today I'm going to be filming um, another makeup look. I really wanted to do this um, hot pink um, lip makeup look. So um, let's just get into it. So for the eyes, I'm just going to start with um, my favorite uh, MAC Pro Long Wear in Lane Low. Apply Maybelline color tattoo in silver strike just to get some um, shimmeriness not to really get any silver look to it I just want that very shimmery light base Take a fluffy brush and go to my um, Naked Basics 2 palette and take Frisk, which is this color right here, and just blend this in the crease. On my skin tone, this is not going to appear that dark because it's a very light color but I just want a transition color um, so it does act as a shadow and I'm gonna take stark and uh, mix it with skimp and put that underneath the brow Then I'm just going to take a flat synthetic brush and go into Urban Decay Basic, uh, the first palette, and go to this Venus color, which is a beautiful shimmery color. Pack my brush with the color. Always tap off the extra and pat it onto the eyelid. Then I'm just gonna use a small um, blending brush and go in with Undone from the Naked Basics 2 palette. Get very little to start with and you're just gonna put this in the very outer corner. basically creating a V and blending it so you do want to keep your blending brush handy and just go over it you're gonna go over the edges and just blend it out so that's the eyeshadow done now um, I'm just gonna move on to my face and then come back to finishing the eyes so um, I will be just using my um, Hidden Concealer by um, Hourglass and on my under eyes I'm just going to use MAC Pro Longwear in NC42 and then on top of everything I'm going to set my under eye with new mask powder and I'm just going to use my Pure Mint Rolls uh, for the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, for contouring today, I'm just going to use my MAC Studio Fix um, powder in NW58 and a BH Cosmetics blush brush, I think. Okay. 
Um, then I am going to go back with my eyes. I'm using a smudge brush and I'm just going to use Done Again and go in my lower lash line. And I'm sort of connecting it. And then I'm just going to take uh, the same brush, wipe it off, and use Venus to go in the inner corner. And we are connecting it to Undone. Now you have the option of going lighter in the inner corner, not inner corner, um, in the waterline or going darker. I'm just going to go darker. I'm using uh, Urban Decay Perversion. You can tight line as well. Now you can do two things, okay? You can just uh, apply a liquid liner or a gel liner, make a wing if you're into that, or you can just go back in with your pencil liner and smudge it out. I am just gonna go with my pencil liner because I feel like if I go wing, wing liner, the thing is gonna be too dramatic and I'm going for a really bright lip, so I don't want it to be extra dramatic. Just going to take my perversion liner and just draw small strokes just on the outer one third then i'm just going to take this flat bh cosmetics brush and press onto the eyeliner and flick it up This is just an easy way to blend everything. I'm going to use um, Tarte Lights Camera Flashes Mascara. I love this one so much. And the CoverGirl Clump Crusher on top. Once you have your mascara done, you um, can apply lashes. Since the whole eye look is very elongated and almond shape, I'm just going to use Miss Adoro number 307, which are these corner lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and I put lashes on. Um, I didn't do anything else. I used uh, the usual a cosmetic brow power. Uh, for my eyes which is in the color universal dark brown and my favorite brow plumper brow plumper by um, L'Oreal um, so we will just do some blush I'm gonna use blush 2 palette by Coastal Sands and a Morphe M43 uh, brush so we should keep everything very neutral. I'm thinking of this color right here. Let's just move right ahead to the lips. I'm going to use this lip liner by Jordana Cosmetics, uh, Cold Cajal Lip Liner in Burnt Cherry.
slightly overdrawing my lips because I want it to be a bit plump looking. Now the lipstick that I have chosen is Wet n Wild Cherry Picking which is a gorgeous pink color. It is absolutely beautiful. But this lipstick is matte so I'm gonna have to mix it with something else to get a bit of a glossy lip. Once I have this color on, I'm then gonna use um, Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick in cherries in the snow now because it's a super lustrous it's gonna be very um, glossy so let's just apply this and make it glossy so guys that's the completed look you have this beautiful um, glamorous eyes and you have a beautiful lip a juicy lip so this is perfect for a red carpet event if you are lucky enough to be on one um, or um, your birthday or any other um, event if you're going to a wedding or some glam event that you have to be at um, I'm super happy with everything how everything turned out it's beautiful love it so much so um, yeah, that's the end of the look guys. If you um, are interested in any other look, please let me know in the comment section. Any other questions that you might have as well, please put it down in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe so I can reach 8,000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you all of you guys' support. And for my current subscribers, thank you so, so much. Uh, once I reach... Um, thousand subscribers I will do a giveaway as well um, to show my appreciation for all of you guys um, and this is the look so I hope you guys like it um, yeah have a nice day Mwah. bye